What's up YouTube? Today we're making some shrimp scampi, quick and simple, nothing crazy. I got some white wine, some chicken stock, you see the shallots, a garlic clove. Uh, I had grape tomatoes for this video, butter, basil, and U15 shrimps, the big boys, and my pasta. Um, and this is my new cutting board my wife got me for our anniversary. This is actually our anniversary dinner. And uh, yeah, thank you. I love you, babe. And I love the cutting board. All right, this is me uh, taking the the shell off of the shrimp or the scrimp. And uh, now I'm cleaning it up, deveining it or divining it. I don't know what it's called, but this is what you do to make sure you get that little intestine out or whatever that is. And uh, yeah, now I'm cutting up the shallots. I usually just like to fast forward through these and not really show how I cut just to save you some time. But uh, I think it's good to show that I'm not the best with the knife and you know, you can still make, make a nice little, uh, you know, a little dinner without being the best uh, cutter in the world but yeah this is me uh, cutting them nice and slim breaking them apart and uh, this is me cutting the garlic up as you can see I'm not very good at it but I take my time and you'll get the same result just take you a little bit longer mm -mm -mm, like a boss yep look at that just keep going going bringing it right towards the middle and going right back at it yep pretty standard look at that All right, I'm gonna do my basil and you're gonna see how I butcher this basil. Basil, basil. Um, yeah, it comes out horrible, but it still tasted good. Could have done a lot better. And then here are my grape tomatoes. I wanted to use cherry tomatoes. They didn't have any at the store, but they came out great. So I guess they sub out perfectly. I actually really like these in there. Let me give it a nice little pop. Gonna add some Evo, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, yeah, add my shallots and my garlic. And I'm just gonna let that go for a minute or two, way closer to a minute actually, just to brown up the garlic. And those shallots really, really help this dish out. They're nice and sweet, I love them. Add the tomatoes, let that sit for a second or two and uh, mix that around. And then I'm gonna deglaze the pan and uh, add that white wine and wait for uh, some of that white wine to bubble down a bit. I think I'll point at it called reducing the alcohol, reducing the wine. But yeah, it's disappearing right there. Add some basil and I'm gonna add some chicken stock. And it's a super easy, basic sauce, but it tastes really good. And it's light, not too heavy. Mm -mm -mm. Add my butter, let that disappear, melt away. Add my pasta to the bowl, put my shrimps or my scrimp in there. Look at those scrimps. They look delicious. All right. And I'm just going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. A little. And, um, yeah. Pretty easy. I don't cook them too much. And I keep moving my pasta around. That's how you do it so you don't break, have to break the pasta in half. Supposedly, you're really not supposed to do that. So I stopped doing it. Yeah, you want that longer noodle. What? Um but it's nice doing that. You get to twirl it around your fork, add my shrimps at a low heat, and just let them absorb some of that flavor. Have them finish cooking in there. Don't wanna overcook those bad boys, they get chewy. Add my pasta and my strainer, add a little extra virgin olive oil so it doesn't stick together and taste a little good, and then we just plate that bad boy as so. And yeah, that's a quick and easy little shrimp scampi dinner. Enjoy, guys. There you have it. That's how easy it is to make a quick little romantic shrimp scampi uh, for beginners and uh, tastes more than half decent.